Hey, Crazy Will here. Today, today we're going to be talking about how to make lithographs for your 3D printer. Stay tuned and I'll show you my process. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these. And you're probably saying, well, they're just pieces of plastic, curved plastic. No, they're actually lithographs. Now, what that is, is if you have a 3D printer, whether it's a resin or an FDM, you can make these curved pieces. Sometimes they're flat. I like them curved, so you can put a little candle behind them, and I'll show you what they look like. Once you put light behind them, once you put light behind them, you can actually see the image. Now, I was playing with this idea when I had my resin printer. I made one of me and my wife, and I didn't do it correctly because it's supposed to be a positive, not a negative, and I'll show you that once we get over to the computer. But I got this idea to do this video from Tony, which is doing 3D printing with his son, which is really awesome. Tony wrote me and said that he was doing projects with his son and he wanted to know how to make lithographs. So I said, this is a perfect opportunity to try it with an FDM printer, which I did because I knew it worked great with the resin and it works best in white, guys. You can use other colors, but the white seems to show up the best. If you put a little candle or a tea light like I did in my video, you can actually see the image behind this and you can even hold it up to a light like this and you could show the image that way, but it's just a cool little thing because it doesn't look like anything actually if you really look at it it really looks like nothing on these and then you hold it up to the light and boom you have this beautiful image and it's pretty impressive so I thought I'd show you my process we're gonna go over to the computer we're gonna go to this website and I'm gonna show you how to make one of these we're here on my computer. The first thing we're gonna do is grab a picture and I have a picture of me and my wife. Isn't that a lovely picture of us? And we're gonna go to this web website right here. I'll leave it in the description down below. It is 3dp.rocks forward slash lithograph. This is how we're gonna make our lithograph. So we're first gonna go over here to images. It's a really great website. You can click and drag a file over or we can just go to choose, which I'll go right straight to desktop and I'll I'll choose upload and I'll load the picture you could do it flat you could totally do that I mean it's up to you guys I like the curve so I like to make a curve and then you just hit refresh and there's the curve now you'll notice right now that and I printed this before this is wrong this is a negative right now so we need to go into settings right here and go to image settings and we need to make it a positive because I guess that this program is actually designed to make an actual real lithograph which is a pattern that you'd roll in ink and then and it would make it on the paper so it would be a negative to a positive if you see now now it's correct so all you do is go into settings images and just instead of a negative image you make it a positive image and now we'll go back to model and that's it right there that's done and you have a lot of options down here too you could do it flat you could do it curved inward you could do it curved outward this has been the best luck for me I like it like that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna download it all right, so Safari's giving me a hard time with this. I don't know why, because I use Safari on my other one. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Chrome, because Chrome works with everything. All right, so it's working with Chrome. I just went to this. For some reason, it wasn't working with Safari. I don't know why. I'll research into that later. But you just click on the download button, and it should download straight to your downloads page. So if I go into my downloads now, I have the lithograph. In an STL file. Now you should know what to do in an STL file from here, just in case you don't. We're gonna open up Cura, because I'm actually gonna do this with my Ender 3, and I have done it with my Elegoo as well. Works really well, guys. Make sure you use white. White shows up the best so far. Everything else is kind of not, you know, you want something a little more translucent. I wouldn't use a translucent, I would just use an opaque white, and that's what I'm gonna be using on my machine. The profile settings, we're gonna keep at a resolution of 0.2, 20% infill, that's been working for me. We're gonna add adhesion because it's a small piece that's only connected to the bed. And if you have a glass bed like me, you could wind up with something that looks like spaghetti string like this picture that I'm about to show you right here because I did that earlier and it didn't come out right. And we're gonna bring in lithograph. Now you can see what it looks like right there. All right, nice and curved. And I like the curve because you could put a light behind it or a candle, a tea light, or you could put an LED light behind it. It just it just looks nice. All right, so it's gonna take two hours and 46 minutes, and it's gonna be 14 grams of material, and it's gonna cost you a whole 36 cents. So let's go ahead and preview this so we can see what it looks like. And it's gonna create that rim, so I, 
I highly suggest every print that I did, I did the rim if you have a glass bed. Even if you have a regular bed, uh, like the sandpaper, I would still do a brim. You could do a raft if you want to. I don't see it necessary because I want it to sit flat, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So we're going to go ahead and save out this file. And I'm going to make it Ender 3, Will and Chris, save file. Replace the existing one, the one where I messed up. I forgot to put the brim in. All right, so let's move that out of the way. We'll move Cura over to the side. And I highly recommend you guys get Octopi. You could just take this file and put it onto your SD card. But if you ha if you have Octopi like I do right here, and this was the mess up right here, I'm going to delete that. You could just upload the file straight to your printer right from your computer. And it just makes life a lot easier. And I have a video on how to do that. And you can see that it's going to pop up right in the corner there. I'll show you how to set that up. Really easy. I really enjoy it. I, I think it makes it, I think it makes the printing experience a hell of a lot better. So this is the file right here. I'm going to upload it right there. Let it do its thing. I want to do a time lapse to show you guys. So that's right here. It's another thing that's great about Octopi is you can do time lapses. And we're going to go ahead and print. And I can actually view this. That's the actual view. I can zoom into that. And that's going to go ahead and print. It'll be done in three hours. guys and this is the picture of me and my wife I think it was before one of our nieces weddings I thought it was a really good picture of us so Tony and your son I hope this helped you I'm glad you gave me the suggestion it was a great idea for a video and like I say guys leave comments down below ask me to do something and if it sounds interesting enough I may do it that's it for me guys make sure you like subscribe and ring that bell if you want to get notified when my videos come out and remember you could do anything if you put your mind and do it later guys plus if you spend way too much money on 3d printers this is good brownie points you're still here you haven't clicked on all these videos that i made or better yet like button or even better subscribe button just put, putting it out there